to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well today. If you're new, welcome. And if you like this kind of content, give it a like and subscribe. And if you're not, thank you so much for checking back in with me this week. So today is going to be the third video of my short girl collection series where I try on a bunch of clothes from different stores um, and I compare what it looks like on me versus the model. If you guys haven't checked out my other videos, I did one for Aritzia and I did one for Urban Outfitters where I basically tried on the clothes and then I posted a picture of what it looked like on the model and then I compared. Just because a lot of the models on the websites are all like 5'10", 5'11". And I'm not. I'm 5'3". So I thought it would be a really interesting take just to kind of see like what the jeans look like on me or what the skirt looks like on me versus the 5'10 model. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Um, I'm doing it for Zara. I've gone ahead and bought, I think, all the necessary items. So I have a pair of work pants, I have a pair of jeans, a pair of... S well, there's no point in telling you guys. Why don't I just show you? Okay, so as you guys can see, I have quite a bit of uh, stuff with me today, so let's not waste time and get right into it. Okay, so really quickly, I just wanted to say, although the exterior of the boxes look super roughed up and kind of gross, they did a really cute job at packaging the clothes. There's like a little tissue and a little sticker, and it's really cute, and I just wanted to say that in times like this, I appreciate that the employees at Zara are still putting in like this much effort, so I think that was really nice. Okay, so here we go. Um, I've got this cute mint kind of silver green um, slip dress that I am so excited to try on. Uh, I love dresses like these, so I'm really excited. Fabric feels pretty decent. It's not silk, by the way, okay? So it's not silk, but it still feels pretty nice. The next thing I'm really excited to try on is the uh, matching set that I got. It's a top and bottom. I know for a fact they're going to look long on me because it was on the model, but that's okay. We're going to try it out with heels and see if it works. Uh, I've also got some work pants, okay, so, you know, once quarantine's over and I go get a job. So, just to give you an idea of how long these go on me. Jeans, right? You can't do a haul without a pair of jeans. These are vintage, apparently, so we'll, we'll look into that. And lastly, a skirt, because I also can't make a haul video without a skirt. And what's going to be super interesting is to compare this with Aritzia, because I got a skirt from Aritzia that looks virtually the same, different fabric and everything, so we're going to try it on and see if it fits better or worse than Aritzia. Let's do it! Okay, so first instinct is that I absolutely love love it. I love this color. I don't even know how to describe it, but I love it. I don't have anything bad to say. Only perhaps that it's a little longer than my normal dresses. Um, it's not a huge deal. You can tell on the model as well that it's kind of up probably here on her and it's a little longer on me. I'll show you the back here. So it is a little longer than my other dresses, but you know what? It's really okay. I really like the texture of the fabric. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's super cute and I'm really excited to wear it out one day. Fingers crossed. Really quickly, just what I've noticed is short dresses are probably one of the things that are the least affected for height. The worst thing for short girls is just that it's a little longer than the model. But there's nothing wrong with the fit. Like, this doesn't really bother me. So I would say that short dresses are a safe bet. Okay, so let's go to something that I know probably won't fit me as well. Alright, so this next piece here is the two-piece that I was telling you about before. And as predicted... It's way too long on me. But you know what? I really like it. The fabric is super light. I'm either going to get it tailored or I could probably wear it with heels. These are called the pleated pants and this is the matching pleated ruffle top. Although the pants don't fit in length, like at all, at all, at all, I'll still show you the fit. I still really like it because it reminds me of like being on the French Riviera, if I had like a sun hat, I would really love to wear this. Um, and the ruffles are really cute. I love the top. The top I'm going to wear everywhere. And what's really great about the top is that it's like a, it's a, like a string scrunch thing here. So for people who want more like coverage in this area, if you have a larger torso, you could just pull it down. So I could even just wear this like 
as a t-shirt, right? But I decided that I wanted to scrunch it up a little bit. We go get some heels and see if we can get these pants to fit. Oh my god, it's like Bambi on ice. <laughs> okay. Oh, but look. The pants fit now. Um, I just want to show you guys how high my heels are. Oh my gosh. Okay, but this is kind of the look I was going for. It makes you look like you have long legs for days. That being said, I don't intend on wearing platform six inch heels every time I wear these pants. So this is something I'm gonna have to think about. Just really quickly, if you're wondering, you might not, but if you were, the shoes are um, coach. They're part of my curated little collection. I did a quick video if you guys wanna check it out. I used to work there, so lots of tips and tricks. Some self promo if you wanted to check it out. You guys can see, I knew this wasn't gonna work out, so it's okay. You can tell in the model just how long it is, but no problem. Um, I'll get it tailored, and that's that. Okay, so um, I'm back to my normal 5'3 height now. This is called the ribbed skirt. Um, normally, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I like a slit in my skirt. The main reason for that is because. I hate restricted movement. I should have known that when I bought it, it was going to be kind of hard to move in, but it's actually not that bad. It's not the end of the world. I do prefer my slit skirt to this one, but it's okay. First thing to notice is I don't like this length on me. I don't like it at all. It makes my 5'3 height look like I'm literally 4'5". Okay, so I don't like that. You can see on the model that she still has a lot of leg left, <laughs> and I don't. Like, a few more centimeters, and it's my ankle. So I don't like this length. There is a high chance I'm going to be returning this um, because I don't kind of like the way it fits me. But otherwise than that, if you are a tall girl for some reason watching a short girl video, that's okay. You would look amazing in this. And if you're short, you know, don't buy it. You might as well go for something that's either short or long. Don't go for something in the middle because it'll make you look even shorter. So these are the super high-rise vintage slim fit jeans um first look right away you guys can tell that it's so much cuter on the model where it cuts on her on the bottom is what i wanted the fit to look like but as you can see they're much longer on me in my opinion it's kind of awkward and it's just not the same look that i wanted i feel like this fit is almost a different look it's no longer that same like vintage look that the model has going on all right, last but not least, we have the textured cigarette pants, and I bought these in a 27. These actually, in my opinion, fit fine. You can see on the model that it is shorter, but I'm really okay with the way these end because this is usually how my work pants look on me. I have, like, five other work pants that I cut the exact same way, so that's fine. I like it. I like the cut. It's right under my belly button. A quick twirl. Uh, yeah, super comfortable. Uh, not the same as the model, but that's okay. I like the length on me. Um, feels nice. Okay, so final thoughts on the pieces that I bought today. Um, I love the mint dress. I love this top, clearly. The bottoms need help. I need to figure out what to do with those. Jeans, I need to try it on again with shoes and see if I like the cut on me. Um, skirt, sorry, but I'm probably returning. And cigarette pants, definitely keeping. Gonna be wearing them when I start working when I get a job, of course. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, uh, just really quickly again, based off the past three videos that I've made, it's safe to say that skirts are usually a best bet and tops, which is why you'll notice I almost never review tops in this collection. Tops, you usually never go wrong. Um, it's usually the skirt and the pants and the dresses that are issues. So that's why I specifically focus on the bottoms. If you guys ever want reviews of tops, I'll definitely buy tops. I have no problem pulling out all my tops and buying more clothes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short girl collection. I currently don't have any more purchases on the way, but I'm going to look into it and hopefully there will be a episode four soon. I know Aritzia just went back on sale, but I'm trying my best to not go there. So, yeah, I think that's a wrap for today. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Um, if you like any of the pieces, they're all going to be linked down below. And if you guys like this kind of content, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week. Mwah.